Hello and welcome to Lesson 3 of the First Steps Theory Frenzy Tutor Book. In this lesson we're going to learn about the bass clef. I'm reading the notes C to G in the bass clef and also how to read notes correctly in the bass clef. So first of all it introduces you to the bass clef and you can see that the other name for the bass clef is the F clef and the reason for that is the two little dots show you exactly where the F line is on the bass clef. Then you can have a practice of writing some of the bass clefs on the stave. Then after that you start to go into the notes, the form in the bass clef. So the first note you're introduced to is your C note written on a crotchet and then you have a little practice of writing those. You then move on to the D note, and you'll see here the D note's actually got its stick going down. So just be careful that you do seat the stick. Now on the middle line here, in both the treble and the bass clef, you can put the stick either up or down. So that's your choice really. But in the other areas, you've just got to be careful because if anything below the middle line, you always put the stick up and if it's above the line, you always put the stick down. I always think of the notes being D's and B's, and that's a good way to remember how you actually put the notes on the stave. Then you've got your E note after that, so you can try writing some E notes with the stick down, F note with the stick down, and your G note with the stick down. So then you have a section which shows you rhymes which you can learn to help remember where the notes are fixed on the bass clef. Again, there's two rhymes that are shown, but you can then have an opportunity of making up your own rhymes. Moving on to the next page, you then have a practice of writing some of these notes down. You have a semi brief D a minim G, a dotted minim A, and a crotchet on middle C. Now what you've got to remember with the middle C note is that this note is above the stave on a ledger line. Then you can have another go at composing in the bass clef this time, writing your own tune that will fit into a 4-4 time signature and then writing your own tune that fits in to a 3-4 time signature. And that completes all of Lesson 3.